Well then, so I've just added, you know, a bit more of that pastels to this. And, you know, as you can see, that's looking sort of quite sort of on the fixed side. I mean, I could make loads of this, but I'm just showing you a bit of an example. Right, and what we can do, we can bring in our piece just here and sort of just, you know, maybe dab that on. Like so. Or you could you know if you've got like a thick paste get yourself out a cocktail stick all right get your blade all right and what we want to do is just sort of cut this at an angle and basically turn our cocktail stick into like a bit of a spatula of itself all right so we can um, get some of this scrape it up right and we can paste it on this way and as you can see that's sort of pasting down quite nicely like so right and then what you want to do is leave that to dry or nice right and then when it comes to uh, using fillers as well you really should sort of leave them to dry overnight right because what happens is um, you think it's dry on the surface but then um, you can like maybe an hour later come along you sand it away then you maybe do all your paint work on top of that finish the model and a week later you know all of a sudden this gap reappears and that's because you know this um, filler that we've made and ones that you can buy they um, they're quite thick they can take a long time to actually dry properly go rock hard and cure down to the bone um, and when they do finally cure and go down to the bone they shrink a little bit and when they shrink basically your gap reappears so it is good to make sure you sort of leave them for about 24 hours to properly dry um, before sanding away at them but yeah that's just nice simple easy way of making your own filler saving you going out and buying some and remember you know we're going to be using these soft pastels um, later on in this video build with some weathering and uh, all sorts of cool stuff that you can make with with these pastels Right, so our um, fillet now has had plenty of time to dry. It feels really sort of nice, nice and rock hard. So it's a um, nice basic principles of doing our fillet. Now we want to go off and do exactly the same kind of sanding procedure that I've already sort of um, shown you. You know, start with the higher grits, work your way down, just get it back to being smooth as the baby's bottom, the same as the rest of that surface detail. So. I'm going to go off and, and sand them later. Now there is one or two things to sort of remember now at this stage. Because what we've got, we've got a wing section, we've got our fuselage section. We could go off and start gluing on these, getting all our tail bits. Right, start gluing on all of these. But we are still sanding away. And... Um, uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff it's it's good to have good accessibility even more so when you get ad more advanced and you start doing stuff like scribing and re-riveting and, and and all those kind of good things because what it is if we bring this together now you know trying to sort of sand out these areas trying to sand out along the, the wing section uh, maybe trying to sand on the underside because these wings they do come in uh, sort of curved downwards all right so trying to sand the underside it just makes it more awkward but if we simply leave this off we've got good accessibility come in with a sanding stick and we can sand everywhere we need to get to we can scribe when we sort of later on as we get more advanced um, as well as having more better accessibility the wing section it's just good practice um, to sort of think about these things and, and think okay I need to sand across here um, when do I glue these kind of pieces on so it is a good practice to get um, those things done and just as a quick one as well at the back here it's a little bit of a fit issue because what we're supposed to do if we bring you in is we put on this piece just here and this locks 
this on here now yes it might be kind of cool to have um, moving parts and all this kind of stuff um, but it kind of does sag quite a bit it's quite a very loose fit in there and you might be able to just see how this sort of does move left and right a bit if we move that out the way maybe you can sort of see at the top just here that this has got so so much play i'd rather glue this into place because it's such a uh, such a loose fit it's better to glue it into place but um what we're going to have to do with that we're going to have to get out the good old pliers and it is best just to give this a little bit of a nick right either side right maybe um you know just get out your blade and just sort of slice it a little bit right just so as it makes it a little bit less in length so it's not gonna interact with the opposite side right and then what we can plain and simply do is at our leisure nicely slide this on here and glue that in and hopefully you can see that is a much more better fit uh, by doing it that way um, and it'll just look a hell of a lot better um, and then there is a bit of or well, there was when it was together there's a bit of gappage on the underside there um, you might want to sort of get some filler in on there um, or if you really sort of want to I mean this is a base then again this is a basic video bill i mean we could put plaster card inside there and stuff but um you know i think we're going a bit too advanced there we might just have to have to leave that for this video but yeah it, it's just a little bit better if we cut them and then we can get a much better fit so it's just thinking about those things so we're all nicely sanded up and all the way around as you can see um right here where i've now sanded away our a bit of red sort of um, filler here you can just see like a little faint red line that's just the filler going into the gap getting it all filled feels nice and smooth so that's that's all good then at the back here we have as you can see where we sort of clipped and cut out that little bit there and what that basically does is it just makes all this fit so so much better if you're building along you'll know exactly what i mean it just fits so so much more better so we can now um, start placing these pieces in glue them in put our tail on and everything and that should be looking um, all good which i'll do later off camera our wing section that's all been sanded around as well so we've got that lovely accessibility and now we can actually sort of glue this in again you want to just sort of you know test fit test fit maybe a slight little sand or a little bit of a trim just try and get it as you know good a fit as possible which that's all looking good so nice bit of tamarack spin cement and i'm just going to run that along the join line just across here and hopefully that will sort of you know get rid of our bit of gappage a bit um, but that bit of a gappage can be like a panel line at the same time anyway so not too much of a worry there right, and there we go just kind of glue around the underside now and that wing section should be all good also We'll be right